Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. And a happy new year to you uh, as well. I hope your year's got off to a good start. Uh, apologies for the, uh, the slight pause in these midweek messages. Uh, I and some of my family had COVID uh, in the run-up to Christmas, and, uh, and then Christmas happened. So we're, we're back now, uh, planning to be doing one of these every week uh, again um, for the time being. Um, so yes, yeah, so look out for, for those uh, next week. on our, So Wednesday, Wednesday mornings, about 11 o'clock, they're, they're planned to go live. So uh, look out for more of these. And um, you may notice I'm wrapped up warm and I'm uh, filming from the church. Uh, now, the church heating uh, has now been fixed. We've had uh, new boilers um, fitted and they are working. They're just, uh, they're just not on at the moment. Um, so uh, we're nice and warm now on a Sunday morning. If you want to come and join us, you'd be very, very welcome. Um, but uh, the reason I'm up here is because the, um, we're <laughs> actually as soon as those were fixed, the boiler down the other end of the building um, also failed. Uh, and so uh, we're having to have another one put in down, uh, down in the kitchen. And as all of this has been going on, I'm just thinking, oh no, not another thing to get sorted. Another, you know, what's going to go wrong next? Uh, and so all these things kind of keep, uh, keep coming up. And I've just been asking God, what are you saying to me or to us as a church through all of this? Is, is there anything more to it? What, what might you want to say? Um, through all of these challenges that we're, we're facing with, uh, with getting things sorted at the building. And, and the thing I keep coming back to, of course, is that the, the boilers are the things that, that fire up with the flame and, and produce the, the heat and the warmth that we need for the building to, to, to feel alive and to be usable. And, and my sense is that God is just prompting us to say, OK, just, just as the building needs to have that, that flame uh, burning brightly, for it to work well. We need to do the same. And we, we had the baptism of Jesus on Sunday. And of course, prior to that, John the Baptist was preaching in the, uh, in, in the countryside, uh, preaching a, a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And uh, he also went on to say that, you know, I, I'm baptizing you with water, but one is coming, Jesus is coming, and he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. And that image of fire just keeps coming back to me. That actually, um, the Alpha Course talks about kind of pilot-like Christians where you've just got this tiny little flame of the Holy Spirit. And really what we need to be is like those boilers that are now working, that are fired up and producing all this heat and warmth and energy and power. Uh, and that God is calling us, just as the building is getting new boilers, for us to kind of look at the boiler room of our hearts at the start of this new year. To not just settle for being pilot-like Christians, but inviting the Holy Spirit to fill us afresh. That we might move this year more in the power of the Holy Spirit. And key to that is going to be prayer. We need to pray uh, more. I think just, I'm feeling challenged to pray more in this coming year. But we need to pray more together and for one another as church. I'm aware right now that, that a number of you are, are struggling in, in different ways. We need to be praying for one another in that, in every way we know how to. So my encouragement is, is that we, we take every opportunity to pray for one another. When you're catching up over coffee or on the phone, don't just share your news. Take a moment to pray with one another on that phone call or at the end of that conversation. Inviting God through his Holy Spirit to move in power in, uh, in each other's lives. And I'm thinking about ways that we can do that all together uh, as a church. We're, we're planning later this term to do a worship and prayer evening. And that'll be one way that we can come together for this. But I'd love to see us this year um, just learning to pray more. To rely more on the power of the Holy Spirit at work in and through us. So I just want to pray this morning that God would fill you afresh with his Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you, you don't leave us to do this journey on our own. You don't call us to follow you in our own strength, but you give us the gift of your Holy Spirit. And Lord, we don't want to be those who just settle for like the pilot light, the, the tame version. Lord, we want to welcome you into our lives, to ask you to flood our beings, to, to set us afire with love for you by the power of your Holy Spirit. And so I pray for each person 
watching or listening. Lord, that you would come now and fill them afresh with your Holy Spirit. Fill them to overflowing. Fan that pilot light into a, a flame that burns brightly this year. In Jesus' name, amen.